gas and guns. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about the wheel bearings on this trailer. It's been sitting for quite a while. When we got the boat out of the water, we noticed that the other side was leaking water along with this one. So we cleaned out the other side, made sure that the bearings were good, made sure it was packed good and everything. So we're going to take you along, show you how to do some maintenance on this side and make sure everything looks good. We're going to rerun the grease through it, make sure new grease comes out. So let's get down and get greasy. So originally we wanted to replace these with bearing buddies. We thought that these were just packed bearings, but they wound up not being. This is just a cover on here. Now in case you don't have a pair of pliers that are big enough, in this case, these are meant to be easily just taken off with a rubber mallet. And what you want to do is just break this loose. It may take a little persuasion. And then once you get a little gap in it, put a screwdriver on the other side and then just start prying this off. Now as you can see this is all full of grease but it's had a lot of water in it so it doesn't have a lot of lubricant in it. So what we're going to do is clean this up and then we're going to, I'll show you the grease fitting here and then we'll pump new grease in there until it comes out. That way we're sure that we get all of the wet old grease out of there. Sorry I kept you waiting forever and a day. All right, now we're gonna fill this back up with high temp marine grade grease. Uh, you wanna be sure and have your towels down because there is a lot of grease that's in this and you just wanna catch all of that that comes back out. Like I say, we're just gonna keep on squeezing until we see new grease start to come out. Okay, now I'm starting to see some red color come through here. So I know that we're pushing all of the old grease out. Like I say, there's, there's gonna be a bunch in there that you have to get out. But one thing you never want to do when you start cleaning these up is put solvents in here because that'll break down the grease and then you're not going to have the lubrication that you need. And this isn't something that you have to do every time. It's just this trailer has been sitting for quite a while. We uh, moved the locations and so you know we wasn't sure if, it, if everything is dried out or what's been going on inside of here. But when we did put the boat on the trailer, pulled, pulled the boat out of the lake, we did notice that there was some water seeping out of it. You know, if, if a lot of time has gone by, you really wanna come back in here and make sure that everything's working properly. Make sure that you get new grease in there. But once you've done this, you know, like, you can do it every time you take your boat out or you can, as long as you got a schedule and you make sure that you know you're putting your grease in there, everything ought, ought to be good. Now that we have this all packed up, I'm going to put the cap back on here. I'm going to jack the trailer up. Make sure that this tire isn't wobbling or anything, just to make sure that the bearings are good. Now when you're putting these caps back on, you know, you can't just push them on with your hand. They're meant to be on there tight, so just give it a couple of, a couple of taps with the rubber mallet, because with metal you'll deform it and then you'll have trouble getting it off next time. There you go. When you're checking your tires, you just want to wobble it side to side, make sure that there's not any wobble in there. You may feel just a little bit of a click. If you're noticing a whole lot of wobble, you're only going to get in there and change your bearings or have someone do that for you. So guys, that's probably the most important maintenance that you can do on your trailer. A little bit of grease can go a long way and save you a lot of money in maintenance. Stick around. Next, we're going to do trailer bunks, see if we can replace those. Give a comment, like, subscribe if you would, and have a good day. I'm gonna see if I can catch a big one out here. Dude, that's perfect. They're totally gonna think you're on the water the whole time.